What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a live subscriber count to your live streams. So here we are on YouTube and this is where we'll be starting. What you want to do is head over to your settings. So select your icon at the top right. From here just select settings. And from here you want to select advanced. And then after that what you need is the channel ID. So just left click, drag over it, right click and select copy. You're then going to head over to this website. Now this website is where we'll be creating the subscribe counter. So it's very simple and it's very easy to use. There are also written instructions on this website for you already. However, I know some people prefer visual, so I'll be going over everything in this video. So channel ID is the link we have just got. So we're gonna replace it and put ours there. You'll notice it says font. So we can actually pick any font we would like. And you can see it says font, go to this. So links are also provided for us. So I'm going to select this and it opens up Google Fonts and you'll see there are a bunch of different fonts that we can pick from. And here you go. So by default, it is set to this one over on the right. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this one because it's something different. And of course it will stand out. Of course you can scroll down and you can pick one that you like. So just remember the name. You can see the name is there at the top left in bold. Come back to the sub counter where it says font. I'll just paste that in. Of course, if you remember it, just type it in. We then get asked to pick a font color. Now, by default, this is white. Now, it's really simple. Uh, we're going to be using color codes. All you need to do is head over to Google. What you would do is type in color picker in Google. I will also link this in the description. And for example, right now, I'll pick a cyan. I'll come more to the top right. As you can see, here is our color code. So I'm going to left click, drag over, right click and select copy. I'll then head back over to our sub counter. I'll change that font color to what we just selected. You can then see it says effect. By default, it's set to 3D. However, again, link is provided. It says effect, go to this website. So I'm going to go to this link. Now with this link, you just need to ignore quite a lot of it. Just scroll down until you see this part right here. So this is different ways you can make the text look. So you can see anything you are seeing right here, you can have. By default, it is set to 3D, which is this one. I'm just gonna change it just to show you that it does also work. So the one I'll be picking is this one right here. And where it says API name, this is the part you'll need to remember. So just left click, control C, come back to that website. And we're going to type in or select control V just to paste that in there. Now we have goal notification message. So this is before it actually shows the subscriber count. So it'll say, for example, sub goal, and then it will show the actual subscribers and then it will show the subscriber goal. I'll put, will we make it? Of course, you can be as creative as you want. You can put literally anything you would like to. And then you can put a subscribe goal. Now this has to be realistic. Let's say for example, you have 2000 subscribers. You don't want the subscribe goal to be 1000 simply because then it will show 2000 slash 1000. In that case, you could put maybe 2100. Now at the time making this video, I have just surpassed 74,000 subscribers. So big thank you for that. And I will just put 74,250 for example. Then everything is all good. We've picked everything we'd want to, and I'm going to select submit. Now you can see it shows us how it will look. And you can see we have that font color, that red background, that's part of this one we picked. You can see there is a red to it and that is how it looks. Now I'm not saying it looks the best, but it's just for an example. Now, once you're happy with the way it looks, you want to copy the URL. So right click and select copy. Very important you do that. And now we're going to head over to OBS. So here we are in OBS. Very simple. If you're new to OBS, then I highly recommend you do check out my other videos. I have covered this in the past. Link to that will be in the description. And what you want to do where it says the sources tab here, you want to select the plus button and you want to come to browser source. Now call this something. I'll just call this uh, sub. So of course you call it something that's going to relate to what you need it for. Then the URL. We're just going to press Control V for that link we had and we can select OK. You'll see eventually that has now popped up. So you can see, will we make it? And it shows my current subscriber count. 
versus the subscriber goal. And it's simple, just select it, move it around wherever you would like to. Usually people have it at the bottom left, of course you are all free to do whatever you would like to. Now if you want to size it down, just double click it here and you can see it shows the width and the height. Now it's really simple, you can see there is a 200 gap between the height and the width. So pretty simple, if we reduce this to the width to 400, then we will need to reduce the height to 200. That just keeps everything or the aspect ratio the same. So I can select OK. As you can see, it's now gone smaller and that's how it looks. Now I'll just drag that out a little bit more. As you can see, that makes it bigger. Note, you can see as I make it bigger using it this way, it does become a bit more blurry and not very clear. So the way I recommend you do put it bigger is double clicking it here, change the width and height from here manually and just select OK. Now I've switched over to my gaming channel. Of course, I'm already subscribed to myself. We have OBS on the left and you can see it is live. It currently shows 74,060 subscribers. And what I'm going to do is unsubscribe and unsubscribe. And you'll see, we'll just see how long it takes for this to update. Oh, that was actually very quick. You can see that was about eight seconds. I guess it does vary sometimes because when I was testing this earlier, it was taking around 20 seconds. However, I'll resubscribe and we'll see this go back up and see how long this takes again. And there you go. So you can see the resubscribing was a bit longer, but there is proof that this does work. And you can see it also looks very attractive on your videos. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has come across as useful. A link to the source I used will be in the description.